Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US stocks fell sharply Friday, wrapping up their worst week of 2023, after the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge showed a stronger than expected increase in prices last month. The core personal consumption expenditures price index, the Fed's preferred measurement of inflation, rose 0.6% in January and 4.7% from the prior year, coming in above economists' expectations. Many strategists now believe that inflation cannot come down without a broader economic downturn. On Friday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 1%, the S&P 500 dropped 1.1%, and the Nasdaq Composite slid 1.7%. The major averages also ended the week with their biggest losses in 2023. The S&P 500 was down 2.7%, marking its worst week since December 9, 2022. The Dow fell almost 3% this week, its fourth straight losing week, the Nasdaq closed 3.3% lower, notching its second negative week in three. In company news, Boeing shares slipped more than 4% after the company temporarily halted delivery of its 787 Dreamliners over, over a fuselage issue. Shares of Microsoft and Home Depot fell 2.2% and 0.9% respectively. In some positive news, shares of maker of plant-based meat alternatives, Beyond Meat, surged 10% after the company posted a smaller than expected loss for the recent quarter despite dwindling sales and soft demand. And the next time you tweet or comment on social media, beware, because a federal court in the US ruled yesterday that emojis, specifically the rocket ship, rising chart and bag of money emojis, count as investment advice. A New York District Court judge wrote in a filing paper even when the word profit isn't directly mentioned, the emojis objectively mean one thing, a financial return on investment. In commodity news, the US has imposed new measures against Russia's metals and the mining sector, including increased tariffs on over 100 Russian metals, minerals and chemical products worth $2.8 billion, which will raise the cost for Russian aluminium to enter the US market. The move was designed to minimize market disruption and expand sanctions to Russia's metals and the mining sector. And the spot price of iron ore has been rising recently due to increased Chinese demand and supply concerns from Australia and Brazil. Expectations of infrastructure and construction activity picking up from quarter two onwards are driving the demand, but the upside price potential may be limited due to the expected normalization of supply and the long-term impact of China's economic stimulus. On Friday, the S&P 500 sectors closed mostly lower, materials and financials led the way, whilst real estate was the worst performer. The SPY futures are pointed to a 0.7% fall. Thank you for listening.